in today's video i am going to be teaching you all how to divorce spiritual husband or spiritual wife okay so if you're somebody here that has been facing spiritual marriage issues please this video is for you i'm actually making this video because of a certain woman i i came across that 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 is asking for help okay so i hope as i upload this video that particular woman is going to watch this video and go and do this and be free from that suffering that you've been suffering from that spiritual husband for years so if you're somebody if you're a man that has been seeing your spiritual wife be it physically or in the dream when you sleep something comes and happens or you're a woman you know you have a spiritual husband sometimes maybe it ap appears to you physically or sometimes it appears to you in the dream and do things to you please watch this video to the end and carry out this recipe as i am going to tell you all here and i assure you that by just doing this recipe only once just once alone is going to put an indefinite end to that spiritual marriage that you have and things when you start doing things in your life things will start working out well for you now let me tell you all the dangers that comes when somebody is married to a spiritual husband or a spiritual wife if you as a woman is married to a spiritual husband to a spiritual being if you are married to a real man to a man here on earth that spiritual husband because they are jealous being that spiritual husband will not allow that your marriage to work no matter how you do sometimes your husband might be the best man here on earth like he might be the type that is other women's dream but because you are already married to that your spiritual husband that spiritual husband will make you to always you know get pissed off with any little thing that that your real husband does for you things that would not necessarily get you angry if like when your husband even says a word to you you just get irritated and you know and just and just start acting weird to your husband when you are married to a spiritual husband as a woman it it will affect your husband's career it will affect his finances yes sometimes when you even have friends that maybe they suspect will take you to a place where you will go and have solution they will go and put problems between you and those of your friends and make people always hate you yes when you're married to a spiritual being you will always face disappointments okay mostly sometimes if if maybe somebody promised you something or you are expecting a particular thing from somewhere when they know that that thing that you are expecting is about to materialize they will come and hurt you be it in the dream or maybe physically for those that sees their own physically and after doing that with you the next call you will receive is disappointment the next thing you will hear from that person or from that source you're expecting that person is that that thing is that is not happening again okay like this thing that is called spiritual marriage is is a dangerous thing that that if it has been happening to anyone anybody that will come across this video and you've been thinking that is a normal thing please do not take it as a normal thing henceforth and that is why i am making this video for any one of you that will see me so that you will go and carry out this recipe and be free and delivered once and for all now spiritual marriages of two types the first one is the one that one inherits from his or her family background from his or her lineage and that is the one that i this video i'm making now will solve now the second one is the one that somebody you know causes for his or herself what do i mean by that let's take for instance somebody is desperate 
maybe to you know to make money or something and they take that person to a certain you know oracle deity whatever i don't know i don't know i don't want to mention things i i do not want to mention here and out of desperation maybe because that person wants to you know make money or just get a particular thing and that person happened to make an utterance that has automatically gotten that person married to that spiritual being or something and at a particular time in that person's life that thing now start appearing to that man or to that woman and start you know having something maybe by that time you the person that has that even made that promise has even forgotten do you understand so if you're the type that your own spiritual marriage is not cause is like is not traced to your family background then you will need a spiritualist a powerful spiritualist okay to sort that one out for you but if your own is the one that is inherited either through your mother's foundation or through your father's foundation this when you carry out this ritual that i'm going to tell you all here now that spiritual marriage of a thing is going to be a thing of the past okay so the lady that i'm making this that asked for this video please make sure you watch this video and carry it out so without being said let me use this opportunity to introduce myself once again to you all so hello my wonderful family how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great it's your girl once again blessing and in this channel i try my best to bring to you all spiritual and natural remedies that works for general papers okay so if that's what you're looking for please do well to stay here if you're seeing my face for the first time you are much highly welcome do well to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to this my youtube channel so that you will always be notified by youtube every time i upload a new video and if you're my returning subscribers you guys are my real mvps i love you all so very much so without being said let's jump right into the video so what are the things that you need to use and liberate yourself from that from that spiritual spouse to divorce that your spiritual husband or your spiritual marriage you will need this this is called cassava this is cassava leaves i hope you all can see it very well you will need cassava leaves now the cassava leaves that you need is this one that is seven the seven petals of cassava leaves let me count it one two three four five six seven okay so you will need seven petals of this cassava leaves into 21 so what do i mean by that the cassava leaf that has seven fingers like this get it like this one two three four you count you get it like this into 21 times okay get it into 21 times that's 20 21 pieces of the seven fingers of cassava leaves now when you've gotten 21 pieces of the seven figures of this cassava leaves you now get one bucket of water please you are going to do these rituals you're going to prepare this recipe in the morning and then use it in the night okay so please make sure you watch this video to the end now when you get the seven fingers of this cassava leaves into 21 pieces of it the next thing you're not going to do is you get one bucket of water it can be tap water it can be stream water it can also be well water anyone at all is good to go you're good to go now when you get that your one bucket of water you now put this your your seven fingers of cassava leaves inside it which is Remember, you're getting 21 pieces of this. Each one, like you're getting it like this. One, two, three, four, like this, into 21 times. 21 pieces of it. So when you get it, you now put it inside that your water that you are going to use to bet. And now squeeze it. You mesh it, all right? And like after squeezing it very well, you now shave out the green water the, the main water now into a different bucket please make sure when you're doing this you're not going to use a black bucket okay you are not going to use a if you use a black bucket it's not going to work for you i always hint it here that whenever you're carrying out a spiritual bath 
using a black bucket is a no-no okay so make sure if, if you can either go and buy yourself a green bucket a blue one or a yellow bucket but if you have black bucket please do not use it if you also have stainless bucket then that is perfect you're good to go now after squeezing this your cassava leaves inside that water you now ship it out and take out the chaps and dispose the chaps and what you now need is that green water that's what you now need now you now get jetrofa seeds green you will have jetrofa leaves please if you, for those of you that do not know what jetrofa leaves or jetrofa seeds is please google is your friend google it so that you will have an idea of what jetrofa seeds looks like and then for those of you that will also ask me blessing please where can i get or where can you get jetrofa seeds go to any nearby spiritual shop around you okay and tell them that you need jetrofa seeds and if you can also get it i can get it from where, where i am and ship it to wherever you are so they don't send they don't sell something else to you as jetrofa seeds because sometimes it's difficult to get now you get that green i'm going to put it on the screen so that you will you will, you will see what jetrofa um jetrofa seeds looks like so when you get that your three seeds of jetrofa seeds after squeezing that this your cassava leaves and you've already shifted out the water you now put that water inside the pocket that you're going to use and pets okay now take the that three pieces of your green green it must not be the other because jetrofa seeds is in two colors we have the green color and we also have the one that is more like you know it, it's it's getting right like it's it's um orange color or something so the one that you need for this particular rituals is the green seed green seed of jetrofa um jetrofa seeds you get the three pieces of it and now put it inside that your water remember you are going to do this you're going to prepare this in the morning between the hours of 7 30 or 7 a.m to you know 8 9 a.m in the morning now, after preparing this, you now keep it somewhere close to your bathroom or maybe in your bathroom and leave it there. Then when it's 11.30 p.m. in the night, that same day that you prepared this recipe, you now take that water to your bedroom and now use it to bed. For the woman, you, bet, you make sure you bet from your head to your toes. Okay? And while you're betting, make sure you're not put, you don't put on any slippers. You can use your betting soap to bet. It doesn't matter. Now, after betting, as you're betting, you are praying to God of creation, that, oh God of heaven and earth, this spiritual husband of a thing, or spiritual wife, or spiritual children, that has been coming to torment your life, causing you delays in marriage, causing you disappointment, causing you problems in your marriage, that's for those of you that is already married, or maybe always appearing before your children, Making your child to be going from one hospital to another, and when they check your child, they tend, they don't see anything that is wrong with that your child. You already know how the thing is affecting you. I don't need to start saying all of it here. So as you're betting that water, you are praying to God that Jehovah should liberate you from every form of spiritual marriage in the name of Jesus Christ. Man. Now, when you finish taking this, your bath, please do not towel dry your body. Allow your body to air dry. Okay. Now. You now keep that your you now take that your seven uh, three seeds three pieces of uh, green jetrofa seeds. You keep it somewhere. You remember either you can either keep it in that bucket or you put it somewhere else. All right, and now wait till morning. When is four a.m. three um four a.m. in the morning, five a.m. in the morning, or six a.m. in the morning? You now wake up and now use your left hand. Please take note of this. When you're done having this, your best immediately is daybreak. Immediately is dawn. You're not supposed to use your right hand to touch that three seeds of the green jetrofa seeds again. You will now use your left hand and take and pick those three seeds, three pieces of green jetrofa seeds that was in that bucket that you used to bed to deliver yourself from every form of spiritual marriage okay now when you use your left hand to pick the three of them you now get make sure when you're buying when you're preparing those things make sure you already have a coin 
readily available you have one coin it can be either silver coins or it can also be green coins now when you pick that your green jetofa seeds in the morning that is after you need to bed when you pick it around 4 a.m in the morning 5 a.m in the morning or 6 a.m in the morning you now leave your house and look for anywhere they have refuse dump what did i say refuse dump refuse dump is a place where they they as in west bean where they heap deaths okay you look for where they have refuse dump it can be the big you know size of refuse dump or maybe the small one anyone at all is okay as long as what they do there is they always drop refuse dump there it's okay to do this work for you you know when you get when you pick that's your um coin just one coin either green coin or silver coins you put it inside on top of that your that green jetrofa seeds that you're already holding on your left hand you put it there and now walk to that refuse dump when you get to that place you stand there and say oh god of creation oh god of heaven and that as you're dropping this green jetrofa seeds with the coins that is in your left hand that any transaction that was made either by your forefathers or by your foremothers or by your mother or by your father or by anybody in your in your lineage in your family in your father's house or in your mother's side and because of that that attracted a spiritual being a spiritual marriage or a spiritual husband whatever to you that uh, that you're using that coins to pay them back whatsoever transaction that was you know carried out okay and that as you're dropping that coins that place now with the three the trophies that is in your hand that's that spiritual marriage that you're divorcing him forever and ever more in the name of jesus christ Amen. that the spiritual husband spiritual wife spiritual whatever that you're dropping them forever and ever more that you're divorcing them forever and ever more that they should leave you alone and never return to you ever forever and ever more in the mighty name of jesus christ after saying that you drop those things there yeah, the three pieces of three jet green jetrophases that was in your left hand and the and the coins you now drop it there and turn your back and go back to your house do not look at your back when you get back to your house that is the end watch from that moment you that your own is that serious that when you stay as long as you're lying down even if people are there the thing comes to have you know something with you watch it that will be the end you will even want to it's like you know like close your eyes to imagine that thing coming to you again it will never come to you again okay so please do this and come back and testify under the comment section of this my video who is happy so my wonderful and beautiful people i have come to the end of this video if you know you found value on this my video please do well to give me thumbs up by that i mean like this my video as that is going to help me a lot and if you're seeing my face for the first time and you've watched this video to this point please do well to give me thumbs up okay and also consider hitting the red subscription button so that you'll become a full member of this channel and also that will also help you to always be notified every time i upload new videos because i very well know that you would not want to miss any of my videos okay yes and for my returning subscribers you all are my real strengths i appreciate you so very much god bless you and see you all on my next video peace